good morning, uh, good evening, everybody. Can you hear any anything? You all heard the music just now? Some people cannot hear, is it? Can hear now. Okay, just now, did you all hear any music? No music. No music, uh, just now. Okay, never mind. Anyway, uh, we are going to start soon. Women, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so if you're ready, then um, shall we start? It's 8.02. Yeah, we can minutes? start. Uh, but uh, there are about 271 person registered, right? So now it's yeah. still 92. Only. Okay. But I guess uh, if we promise to start at 8, we promise to start at 8. Lah, huh? So you want to adjust uh, your camera a bit so that the background, the people not being seen. Cannot adjust the uh... okay, <laughs> 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 it's fine, it's fine, huh? so they are live attendees, huh? In my room. Don't, don't worry. Actually, the, the chair is there, that nothing much can change. Eh? I, I, how do I? No, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry. No. Hey, 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 don't worry. Uh, okay. or maybe just get a chair. The chair that is sit, sit there, huh? Huh? Ah, like that can, okay. Okay, okay. <coughs> sorry, uh, sorry, uh. sorry, sorry. Okay. okay. So anyway, because uh, we decided to have this session because of what's happening in Canada, we see that the truckers are being, in a way, bullied, in my opinion, because the government is threatening, in fact, has frozen their bank accounts. But yeah. I think they probably expect the way that the citizens will fight back, which is that everybody decided to withdraw their money out from the millions <laughs> went to, bank to withdraw their money. Okay, so I think there's power to the people that if governments were to anyhow do their things, then citizens have you, the right. You see, the the, the thing is that uh, in our group, uh, we have been saying that uh, you know, first of all, the vaccine mandate is one the first step. And then subsequently, I always tell people that you will subsequently go to finance, okay? I didn't know that I so fast can see a live case, you know, in a Commonwealth country. So uh, you do know a lot of countries are Commonwealth country, right? If a Commonwealth country can do that, what other Commonwealth country can also do that? Okay? It's about cryptocurrency. No, it's cryptocurrency. So who was that, huh? Are you making a comment or asking a remark? Asking a question? Uh, I think, Pekai, you really have to mute people, okay? Just watch yeah. out for who... I mean, I mean, I don't mind question because I don't know whether you're making a comment or uh, asking a question. Uh, I think if you want to talk, can you put up your hand because there's a lot of people today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, I, I guess if you want to ask question, you can ask question. Or perhaps you can uh, ask question in the comment box or so. Uh, then I can know lah. Huh? Okay, so I think without further ado, I think we are ready to start. You can go ahead, uh, just let people in, okay? Sure, sure. I think I will start. Uh, huh? Okay, first of all, like I said just now, let me repeat. Uh, the, the thing is that uh, we have been saying to the... In the community, of course, we say that the vaccine discrimination... Uh, sorry, according to our country, it's called vaccine differentiation. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Shamugan, if you're in case you're listening to this. I need... Let me correct the naming first. Okay, it's called vaccine differentiation. We must be politically correct in our phrasing, okay? So it's uh, vaccine differentiation. So, uh, I mean, of course, all, all along in the Commonwealth country, we know that the uh, vaccine, uh, the other country, I can just call it vaccine discrimination because it is what it is. Lah. So the other country are doing vaccine discrimination. So the thing is that I've been telling a lot of my friends, a lot of my students in, in crypto that uh, eventually it will evolve to uh, evolve to financial financial discrimination. Okay, as in you, if you hold a certain belief, you are discriminated. Okay. So the thing is that all along when I tell people cannot relate, you know, you know, every time when I say this, I will say Raymond, we are bo, tun bo, you know, like that. But the thing is that, you know, I remember last year when people say, uh, no jab, no job. People will say, hey, we are both jumbo. <laughs> Actually, no jab, no job is not even said by me. Like I, for me, I'm not really particularly uh, want to jab or don't want to jab because for me, it doesn't really affect me because I, I'm an employer. So it doesn't really affect me. So so if no jab, no job, but I don't have a job anyway. So so not, it doesn't really affect me. Like. 
So maybe, but certainly I, uh, I, I, I cannot enter more lah. Oh. So that's the thing I have to live with lah. Oh. So the thing is that, uh, so the thing is that as we move forward lah. Uh, so all thanks to Canada, we know how things would be like uh, if they implement this full blood. Okay, so. I will just tell you, actually, uh, I think one or two months ago, I gave a talk about central bank digital currency. Okay. Um, I think some of you, I will not go to talk about the content because that one is also a two hours talk. Uh. In case, uh, uh, Pekka, you may want to tell me the link of that one uh, later. I mean, after the end of the talk, uh, maybe we can send the copy to them. We'll talk about how the uh, some of the agencies uh, in the world, uh, huh, which they are sort of related to World Economic Forum, right? Uh, they talk about how to implement central bank digital currency, and it's quite scary if you see that video. Okay, uh, that means uh, the thing is that uh, the government has the right to determine how much you spend and what you spend on, because it's designed to the currency system. Okay, and the thing is that uh, it is already in the in some of the white paper including implemented, oh, and I'm very concerned with this. Sorry, who is that? Ah, uh? Pekka, do you mute everyone? Uh, I'm going to mute. I'm asking him to go and check out where. <clears throat> okay, sorry, it's a bit uh, disturbing. I, 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 I can't. What, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? I really say, can you remind me what was I talking about? Central bank. Yeah. Central bank digital currency, is it? So, so I was I gave a talk about central bank digital currency, and of course, in the white paper, in the design, they are designing the currency system to be segregate people according to certain criteria. Of course, they didn't say what criteria. Okay, at this point of time, they don't need to state what criteria, but the criteria could be whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated. Okay, or it can be on any arbitrary criteria, or maybe, uh. I mean, at this point, I don't want to speculate. Scully, if not later, you know, someone will send me a letter say I'm defaming the country or this thing. So I just say, okay, the fact is that the, the fact that the country is able to do that or can do that, uh, to me, is a problem. Already, okay? It's not whether you would do that or not do that. Okay? Uh, the, the point is that as long as the government can have the capital of doing that, right? To me, it's a concern. Okay? But as to the CBDC, the talk, uh, maybe I'll just ask I uh, Pekka to send you later. Uh, huh? Let today we just focus on the main talk, which is, is our government. And of course, we have special focus on what is happening to Canada now. Okay. So let me just share the screen. Uh. <clears throat> okay, just confirm you guys can see the screen. Uh. The screen is uh, a lot of truck. And then the title of the talk is, is the money, is our money safe from government? Okay. okay. Sorry? Uh, I can see, I can see. Okay. So, uh, okay, when I make this statement, uh, I just want to make sure, uh, in case there are government spies here, uh, okay, I just want to ensure you this is not defamatory. First of all, I say it's our money safe from the government. I didn't say which government. And even if I say any government, uh, I'm asking a question, okay? I'm asking a question. I'm not making a claim, okay? The thing is that even if our government is moral and just, uh, the question still makes sense because even if I'm dealing with a moral and just government, right, I still want my money to be safe from the government. Why? Because while the present government is moral and just, the next government may not be, you see. So this one is a bit... So I say this, I'm safe. Huh? <laughs> okay, so now, uh, let me just go on. Huh? Uh, so all the legal disclaimer, in case there are some government spies here, you're welcome to stay and... Uh, I mean, after all, even if you're a government spy, you're a government servant, you still still need to know whether your money is safe from the government or so. Maybe it's also a concern for every citizen, including those who are government servants. Okay? Go on the next slide. So who is this presentation for? I just want to qualify, because I don't want people to later, uh, uh, you, you have a bad taste in your mouth because you say the presentation is not what you think or what you expect or this thing. Okay? Who is this for? This presentation. <clears throat> you want to explore blockchain. <clears throat> you want to store your wealth safely away from government. By saying that, I'm not saying the government will, secure, will seize your wealth. I'm just saying that even if it's, uh, our government is moral and safe, right? Just uh, there's still a question of, uh, I still want to store it away uh, from the government. 
like like for example, even though I love my mom, I don't want all my money to be uh to be accessible to my mom. You get my point? That's that's the whole thing, yeah. But and my money should be accessible to my wife, law. That's the thing. Okay. So the thing is that uh you want to not depend on traditional banking. Okay. But the thing is that uh, we are not against traditional banking. We just say that uh I'm user, I'm a user of traditional banking. But I you sh- the traditional banking should not be holding my balls. You get my point? So where possible, huh, you still want the benefit from the convenience of traditional banking. Okay. So I will be talking about crypto as an alternative. But of course, crypto people say I don't know how to use it, I don't know how to cash out, all this thing. Today I will tell you actually, as of this time, it is easy to cash out, easy to use. Later I will show you. Uh, I just go for Iris a crypto debit card. Anytime she wants to cash out her, her uh, crypto uh, to get a grab, uh, get a grab food or you know buy anything, buy food, uh, take a transport, uh, even take EasyLink, uh, all this thing is all possible. Okay, you do now is the right time for you guys to be involved. Uh, is the right time because it is convenient to be used, and uh, you also enjoy the freedom given by blockchain. Okay. <clears throat> who is this not for? You are happy with traditional banking, okay? You are totally trust the government with your life, okay? If you totally trust the government with your life, then you don't have to continue on this uh, discussion. You can leave now because the thing is whatever I say won't apply to you, okay? You totally think that blockchain is a scam and Ponzi scheme. If you, you think that way, I you must know, huh? I'm not here to prove to you blockchain is not a Ponzi scheme or not a scam. Uh, because I got no interest. Because I don't care whether you think that blockchain is a scam or Ponzi scheme. If you think this way, please leave. Okay? I'm not interested. You don't have to ask me to prove to you because I do not need to prove to you. Okay? If you feel that blockchain is a globalist conspiracy, okay, you must understand. I know there are a lot of people who think that blockchain is a globalist conspiracy. I will tell you that anyone who say this uh, is because uh, if there is truly a globalist conspiracy, uh, they would want to paint that blockchain uh, is a global conspiracy because the thing is that if blockchain survive and succeed, right, the globalist plan will be affected. Okay? Because you look at what happened, what is happening to Canada now. Uh, actually, from this, uh, one of the paths is to move forward to financial control. That one is almost confirmed. You can see very clearly. I didn't know that they would do it so blatantly, okay? So now let's just see whether... Okay, so now at this point of time, I shall continue on the presentation, okay? So in the case where this is not suitable for you, uh, you can also leave now, huh? Okay, so now... So now, now, now let, me, let me just talk about the hot news now, okay? One, two weeks ago... <clears throat> I like the photo, the image. Huh? One, two weeks ago, okay? Uh, Trudeau like is like a dictator. Huh? <laughs> One two weeks back, Canada blocked banking access to who? And then at first I thought the blocking blocking of banking access uh, is only for people who are involved in the truckers. Uh, that means you know the trucker they drive around and then they block the road or this thing. Uh, so maybe to send a message, no no to vaccine mandate and all this thing. Okay, so so that was the thing. Okay. So at first, when I thought, when I heard this news, I thought that uh, Trudeau is just to ban the banking access uh, from all these people who are involved, okay? Later, I found that even the people donating $50 to them, uh, they also have their bank access, uh, bank uh, frozen. You know? For example, let, let, let me read this. Uh, Brin is a single mom from Chilliwack working a minimum wage job. She gave $50 to the convoy when it was 100% legal. She hasn't participated in any other way. Her bank account has now been frozen. This is who Justin Trudeau is actually targeting with his emergencies act order. Okay, so this is what what was happening. So what happened? The dictatorial usage of the emergencies act triggered massive hacks and withdrawal. So you see, uh, these are the hacks, uh, the denial of service attack on all the banks. Okay. First of all, they crashed all the five major banks in Canada. And first, this first thing. Secondly, the citizens are doing withdrawal of money from all their bank accounts. Okay? So, this, that was what happened. And then later, the good news is, the good news is... Uh, this is we were uh, very clear that the use of the Emergencies Act would be limited in time. And today, 
After careful consideration, we're ready to confirm that the situation is no longer an emergency. Therefore, the federal government <laughs> will be ending the use of the Emergencies Act. We are confident that existing laws and bylaws are now sufficient to keep people safe. A joint committee of parliamentarians will be struck to review the declaration of emergency. Within 60 days, there will be an inquiry into the circumstances that led to the Emergencies Act being invoked. It will look at how we got there and why it was required. It could look at policing. The inquiry could also examine the funding, influence, and disinformation that supported the illegal blockades and occupations, both foreign and domestic. Going forward, it'll be important that we gain a fuller understanding of what gave rise to this kind of disregard for laws and threat to our democracy. We need to make sure our institutions are prepared and ready in the future. While the immediate emergency situation is over, this issue won't just go away. Congratulations to Canada and to the world. This is power to the people, okay? So the thing is that the, the people have spoken and they have spoken by hacking the servers and withdrawing all the money. And although, although Trudeau was saying something very neutral, they say that because they, they evaluated uh, it's no more emergency. I, I think that you withdraw all the money is itself is emergency. Uh. So uh, to avert the emergency, they have to stop the emergency act. <laughs> okay. So the thing is that you see, uh, the, the thing is that you see, uh, from my point of view, uh, uh, I, I think Trudeau is a World Economic Forum lap dog. Uh, so which is, uh, which is I, I just find it very, very disturbing uh, that I do not know how come so many of our uh, Sorry, so many of the international leaders are uh, so called the members of World Economic Forum. What, what is this big deal about it? Okay. <clears throat> so, this is okay. This, this is what happened. Okay. So, the thing is that uh, this is what is the proof of this. This is the proof that when people know enough about crypto and know enough about uh, alternative, uh, then the government has to submit to the will of the people, okay? And by the way, when I when I say this, it's not any way subjudice, because I mean, anyway, isn't government supposed to submit to the will of the people because you are elected by the people, isn't it? To do what we ask you to do, okay? So the thing is that, so, so the thing is that, uh, so the thing is that the people has to know enough, okay? So I believe in blockchain being that counter counterbalance force. Uh. I believe in it so much uh, that Iris, why are you sharing the screen? Oh no no no! I I, I thought I want to share this with everybody. No, it's no. in the next slide, Iris. It's, I I I can't paste this on already. Okay. Oh, so so I I I oh, you quite disruptive. Eh? I mean, you want to share? Can I just tell me first now? Huh? Okay. 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 So anyway, it's back to my slide. Uh, the Iris, the, the thing I actually is in the next few slides now. So where was I? Uh? Power to the people. Okay, so power to the people. Okay. So the thing is that this is a proof that when people know enough, right? But in the in see, uh, for democracy to work, right? It assumes an educated population. Okay. And the thing is that I believe in it so much. <clears throat> I believe in it so much uh, that even after you listen to this talk, right, you engage my competitor to for your blockchain needs. Uh, I still come on. Uh, I still I still willingly will do it. Because you know why? By virtue, they are more blockchain user, I will feel safer. If there's not enough blockchain user, I will feel very, very unsafe. Very unsafe. I feel very dangerous. Because the thing is that when the time comes, I'm not saying the present government will do this. Uh, I, I'm just saying that while well, the present government is so moral and just, right? But I'm not, I'm not so sure whether the next government will be that way, okay? So I just need to prepare for the future. So the thing is that, you know, when the time comes, right? If the next government, whom I'm not so sure whether it's as moral as this one, if the next government chooses to oppress its own people, right? Let's say if there's only one or two percent people who are using blockchain, I will be... I will be very unsafe because I am alone. 
I'm only like a few percent of the people using blockchain in Singapore. And uh, <clears throat> I wish to change that. And when I'm going to change that, uh, and my belief is so strong that even if you engage my competitor, I'm fine. Okay. As long as you get involved in blockchain, I feel safer. Okay. And for the, if I'm able to serve you, I'll be happy to serve you. And if my, I cannot serve you and only my competitor serve you, I am happy that my competitor is serving you and I'm happy that you're being going on blockchain. Okay. So the next slide. <clears throat> So you see, like I said, this one is the, the slide. Huh? So Canada, as of today, uh, revokes the use of the Emergency Act. Okay? Yesterday, they announced the RSCMP, I don't know what is this, huh? would start freezing, unfreezing accounts. I suppose RSCP is probably a name of a bank. Today, Trudeau, I think it's a bad name, big name, nickname of Trudeau, huh? revokes the Emergency Act. Why? Millions of Canadians were taking money out of their bank accounts and moving their investment. Their bank went offline for a period of time as well. And there were outages happening <clears throat> with all the major banks. What were the bank runs doing? They were destroying Canada's financial rating worldwide. And everyone loses confidence in Canada's banking system. <clears throat> they were never the mid why the Emergency Act was revoked. They can sugarcoat this any way they want and make up whatever lies they want. But this is why it was revoked. Government is the poor when they have no confidence in the banking system. Trudeau has no other option but to revoke the Emergency Act. <clears throat> okay? But for me, it's very simple. I mean, of course, Singapore government is still a moral and just government. The thing is that, at the very least, look at blockchain as the alternative. Okay? At the very least, get educated what blockchain is about get acquainted with it, be educated about it, and uh, and be ready, okay? Be ready. Because the next government may not be as moral and just as this government is, okay? So now, let me go on to the next slide. Huh? <clears throat> In case you guys got any question, you can ask me. Huh? Uh, let's say uh, you can ask during the chat box. Huh? So now let me just explain, okay? Like I said in the, in the promise of the presentation like this, okay? What happened to the banks and how can blockchain prevent this? So that you know what's going on, okay? Wait, 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 hold on. Huh? <clears throat> how can blocking of bank account be done, okay? You must know, uh, traditionally for all the banks in the world, in Canada, in US, in Europe, in France, in, in Italy, in all the countries, this model is true, huh? Because the bank uh, is registered in the country and the money is stored in the country and the banking computer system is stored in the country, okay? So I ask you, uh, very simply, very simply I ask you, if the government issue or order the bank to freeze the bank account, if the bank do not comply, what do you think will happen? Guys? Maybe you just put on the chat box. What do you think will happen if the if the government if the government issue order and the banks do not comply? Okay, lose their license, revoke license, banking license. Huh? They mean the license to even operate a business. Okay, fine. Okay, the thing is that like this. Okay. That's, that's the most minimum, uh, some kind of punishment. So the thing is that uh, they are law, law enforcement. They are, of course, they are police, they are army. So the thing is that, honestly, the government can forcefully take over the management of the bank. Okay? Physical seizure if needed. Of course, we don't need to go to that extent because the thing is that, as far as the law is concerned, the government never needed to go over to that extent. But the thing is that, that they can so even if the banks do not believe in seizing your account, they are forced by laws and forced by the realities of that law to close down your bank account, okay? So this one, uh, because of how banks operate, because of how banks operate, this one is inevitable, okay? That means if the law, if the law, if the government issue an order to close down your bank account, the bank have no choice but to do it. How many of you, how many of you feel that as a result of this, you may not have freedom? 
If you feel that you may not have freedom because of this, uh, just say yes in the chat box. Guys, please participate. Huh? There are only 151 people here, but the answer not 151. Eh? How many of you? Eh? Okay. Okay, how many people say no? Eh? If you answer no, you should not be here. Lah. <laughs> because you're okay with losing your freedom. Okay. So now, this is how banks operate. Okay. So eh, for you, for you to have total financial freedom, eh, you must actually change the way you store your wealth. Isn't it? You must change the way you store your wealth. Okay. And the change of way of the store your wealth uh, is blockchain. Okay. Why blockchain resolve the problem? Okay. So the thing is that uh, you know how many of you can tell me, okay, whenever you over the last two or three years, uh, you probably heard of the news about blockchain. Okay. Then of course, how many of you heard of this term called distributed ledger? If you hear of this term before, blockchain, you go to distributed ledger, please say yes in the chat box. Guys? Okay. Or oh, Joe say no. Okay, never mind. But today is yes because you heard of it from me. <laughs> I'm the first person there. Okay. And me also say no. Okay. Never mind. It's okay to have no. But today, after today, you're going to be no already, you know? Distributed ledger, what does distributed ledger mean? Distributed ledger means that your record of your balance of your asset, the balance to, the balance you have, your USD or whatever balance, right? It is stored in multiple computers across the world. Okay? For example, let's look at the graph, uh, the, the picture on the left. Uh. Okay. On the left, okay? For those who believe in the earth is round, huh? oh, this is a group for you. Okay? <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, for those who believe the earth is round, one, huh? the, the one at the left one is for you. Okay, So, uh, you notice that uh, the, the record of your Bitcoin balance uh, is stored over the world. Right? It's stored over the world. Okay? I believe, okay, at the very least, okay, you never heard of the term display legend. Never mind, okay? I believe most of you would have heard of the term called Bitcoin mining, right? If you heard of the term called Bitcoin mining, say yes now. <coughs> ah, more yes. Mining is a more common term, okay? My, mining is another way of saying, I mean, it's here another way of saying disputed ledger, but it's equivalent, okay? But then my more people you say yes, okay? So for those people who say no just now, uh, is it a yes now? Because you probably heard of Bitcoin mining, okay? What is this thing called Bitcoin mining? Okay, you do hear of people, okay, how many people have you heard of that people who make money for Bitcoin mining? How many of you? Only one answer yes, Sarah. The rest never, never know before. Okay. Okay, why do people make money from Bitcoin mining. Why? Because Bitcoin mining, uh, you are making money uh, by helping the world store the record of the Bitcoin balance in your server. That's why you are being paid for it. You are providing a service to the world. Okay, why are you providing service to the world? Because the, the record partially is kept by you you kept the record of the Bitcoin balance, okay? <clears throat> so that means uh, for those people who are doing mining, staking, they are contributing to the world by keeping part of the record. Do you guys understand or don't understand? So, okay, now, now the thing is that uh, it is a fact uh, that your bank, okay, your financial records are in, big, in blockchain, right? It's kept all over the world. And people who keep, ah, okay, Joe, very good. Now you understand, okay? 
So uh, your balance uh, is kept by people who are doing mining who keep the balance of your the record of your record, okay? And they are being paid for it, okay? But as a result of this, uh, do you realize that your record is kept all over the world? Your banking record, your financial record now, uh, when you do your transaction over Bitcoin or whatever, it is stored in US, it is stored in China, it is also stored in Brazil, it is stored in Argentina, it is stored in US, it is also stored in Canada. It is also stored in Singapore because there are people in Singapore that still do mining. It is stored in India, it is stored in Turkey, it is stored in France, it is stored in Italy, it is stored in South Africa, it is stored in Nigeria, it is stored in anywhere that does Bitcoin mining. Understand, do not understand. So now, now we're getting a crux of the matter. So I ask you now, is it possible for anyone to close out the network? Possible or not? Answer yes or no? Derek still answer yes. Are you sure or not? <laughs> never, never. Huh? Is it possible to close out the network? Yes or no? Okay, Wu Fang, I'll answer you later. Okay, never mind. Okay. Stephen Cole, very interesting, very interesting uh, uh, observation because he said no way unless one world government. I will address this point later. Huh? Very interesting point. Okay, very interesting point. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So at least I get some sort of understanding from you. Okay, so at least hopefully today you guys can see everything in totality because over the years, uh, since 2014, I think people have been telling you about uh, oh, I'm doing mining, you know, I make money from mining, you know, let's, let's, let's do mining. You don't know what, actually, you don't know what the F you are doing, right? You actually, you don't understand, okay? You are actually making money from providing a service. What service are you providing? By storing the record in a server that you paid for, okay? You either buy a video card that do mining, or you buy a server that do mining, or which are secure the network and make it more secure. And in some way, uh, if you run a full node, you are actually storing the record in your server. And the full note in your server, right, is to provide the record to anyone who requests for it. Very good. Huh? So, okay. So, there are some few questions they ask. Huh? Okay. What if there's a global power shutdown? Okay. I tell you. Lah, first of all, that is unlikely to happen. You want the whole thing to shut down at the same time? Not possible. Not possible. Okay. But if there is a global power shutdown, huh, it must be a result of some calamity. Lah, huh? And the calamity must be so huge uh, that all the electricity in the whole world shut down. I think at that point of time, you don't worry so much about money. I think you just run, okay? You just worry about life first. Uh, <laughs> because if the whole power shut down at the same time, uh, oh my God, what kind of thing can happen that can cause the whole power shut down? It must be a serious thing. <clears throat> okay, so just now, I think there was a Stephen, right, that mentioned, okay? Uh, no way unless the one world government. That is why we oppose to any one world government. Because if there's one world government, technically speaking, the one world government will have access, will have, will have military access to everywhere in the world and they can execute the military order to shut down every server in every country that runs Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. So one world government is very bad for cryptocurrency. So for all intent and purpose, right? One world government for all intent and purpose seems to take our freedom. We must oppose to the one world government with all our strength. Because when that happens, even crypto will go down. Okay? No to one world government. And just, just a bit of digress. Huh? You know, recently, uh, Iris told me that she found this WHO Act, right? In which... Huh, I think the WHO is trying to ask all the government to sign this agreement, okay? In which, uh, if there is a medical emergency, this act, uh, after every government that signs it, right, this act will circumvent and override any of your constitution. So in the WHO, uh, where it concerns medical emergency, what they decide is the law for the whole world. We cannot let, let this happen, definitely. So the thing is like this. So the okay. thing is like this. Okay. I think there's some echo Okay, so the thing is like this. Okay. Uh, if they allow uh, this act to happen, uh, 
for the purpose of only medical emergency, uh, if you just allow this one thing to go through, uh, they will allow another thing to go through. Since we allow for medical agencies to override every country's constitution, right? Then never mind, why not have one more? Uh, we have a one more is to deal with trade embargo one. So let's say you want to deal with China, or let's just have, if I have a trade embargo against China, we must all have a trade embargo against China. How can we ever let this WHO Act ever take place? We must oppose, okay? <clears throat> we must oppose. And for this purpose, uh, if I have to stand for election to go against it, I will stand for election because I cannot let our country, I will not salute to another flag. I will not salute to another flag. Okay? I didn't serve my national service so that I can salute another flag when I'm, when I'm in my 40s. Okay? Nonsense. <clears throat> so, and the thing is that there was another question. Uh, I think uh, there are people who ask what is mining. Okay? At this present moment, uh, you can just think of it as mining, uh, as just uh, helping the blockchain to store computer record of all the financial transactions. Just, just, just think of it that way first, okay? Helping to verify and to store the record, okay? Mining is basically just storing the record, your financial record, all over the world. And if you provide a service to store the record, you get paid, okay? You get paid in Bitcoin, okay? So the thing is that I just want to contrast it with the Canadian model in which, or any country's model, every country's the bank is being is in the physical locality of a, of a country and can be controlled militarily if needed. So the bank have no choice but to obey the court, court order. Okay? Even if they feel that the court order is nonsense. Okay? But they have no choice. Okay? So later I will show you some of the CEO, some of the CEO of big financial firm uh, they are, have good conscience. So they actually want the people not to put money with them. Okay? I will well, later show you, okay? It's very atypical. Uh, but, but some of the CEO with conscience are... And this CEO with conscience, they are from blockchain company. Okay? Later, I'll see you. So at this point, before I go on, uh, did I miss out any question? If I miss out any question, please put on the comment box, okay? Because this one is very important. This one is crucial. Uh. Blockchain cannot be controlled. Not by design. Not by design. The design it cannot be controlled. Nobody can control it. <clears throat> so that's why you know the 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 main, mainstream media has been spending the last ten years uh, trying to smear campaign on Bitcoin for all day long. Okay, smear campaign, saying it's Ponzi scheme. Okay, uh, you know what is the biggest Ponzi scheme? You know? It's the normal fiat system. Mm -hmm. Money la. Money is the biggest biggest Ponzi scheme. Okay? Not enough money, never mind. Print, print more money. La. It's okay. Print, print more, la. print more. When we when the bank, when the banks uh fall apart, uh, print more, la. print more to extra rescue them. Print more, print more. Huh? Cost massive return, never mind, print more. Okay? That is a Ponzi scheme. <coughs> okay, Susanna Ling asks. Blockchain and Bitcoin and crypto, are they the same? Okay, let me just say that, okay? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. Blockchain is the technology that drive the Bitcoin. So, you get it? Blockchain is the underlying technology. Blockchain is the mechanism in which you store transactions all over the world. Blockchain is that mechanism. Bitcoin is the name of the coin. But for that matter, there are a lot of other coins other than Bitcoin. There are other coins. So to me, Bitcoin is a school project, okay? It is there for a reason. It is to there to prove of concept or certain thing. But beyond that, beyond that, there are other things better you can do with blockchain, okay? <clears throat> so Joe, thank you very much. I, I, I would love it that my, 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 uh, my attendees here get to understand what I'm talking about. And often, I also see that many of my uh, blockchain peers uh, and competitors, they don't really explain things that way. Lah, huh? But having said that, uh, if you guys want to engage them uh, so that you get your blockchain needs uh, uh, satisfied, that's fine. I mean, I just want you guys, hey, please go on blockchain because I, I don't want to feel alone, you know. You know, when the next government who is not so moral and just, right, who may not be moral and just, uh, I do not want to be alone facing them, you see? 
<laughs> okay, Mr. Tan, SK Tan, why does mining consume so much electrical power? Very good question. Uh, this one is more like an economic question, okay? The thing is the... Okay, I just put it this way. It is the design of uh, mining uh, to consume... Okay, rather than saying so much electrical power, we just say so much uh, economic resource, uh, which can come in the form of... Uh, uh, because eventually, the city, why is it a problem? Because it costs a lot of money, okay? Costs a lot of money. And even if you buy mining server, you still cost a lot of money. So eventually, you are, you are effectively asking me, why does mining consume so much money? Lah? Or, the reason is very simple. <clears throat> the only way to secure Bitcoin, right, is to use money to secure it. The reason is that... Uh, I will tell you the truth. Uh, nobody has, you see, for example, for anyone who want to take over the Bitcoin network, right? They need to spend gigantic amount of money to take over the so-called the mining power. I tell you, I ask you one thing, very simple. Uh, just now I say, blockchain is to store all your financial record all over the world, right? But I ask you, uh, if all these computer servers that store all the financial record, uh, they all belong to me. Uh, they all belong to me, okay? Would you feel safe uh? Guys, if they all belong to uh, Justin Trudeau, will you feel safe? Let me just re re readjust the question. If all these servers belong to Justin Trudeau, will you feel safe? Of course not. So even if you store all the world, so what? Yours is owned by Justin Trudeau. Uh. <clears throat> so you will only feel safe uh, if all these servers are owned by different people. Okay? And the thing is like this, okay? If Justin Trudeau want to control the Bitcoin network, right? They will have to buy over the server from every person, okay? They're very simple. Like, you want to buy over, let's say my mining server is about, let's say 5,000. For me, very simple. You want to buy over. I buy, I sell 50,000, okay? Anyway, I know that, huh? You buy over my server, you also cannot control the network, right? But, but if you buy from me, I will earn 10, 10 I will earn 45,000. Otherwise, you sell to you, lor. Anyway, you cannot, you cannot control anyway, right? But I get 45,000 from you, right? Okay. But for him to control, right? You know what? Spy over every server. You know? Do you know how much money is that? Nobody can afford one. Nobody can afford that amount of money. Not even the elites. They do not have enough money to buy over all the server. And not to... I mean, for those who believe, you know, the cabal. The cabal don't have enough money to buy over. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Because the thing is that you see uh, the Bitcoin server, right? Some of them are owned by the white hats or this thing. Uh, huh? The thing is that, okay, you want to buy. And then you keep more, more expensive. Then the white hat is not, it's not without money. Though. Then you want to control the Bitcoin network. You want to buy over all the server. Then I create more Bitcoin... I, I create more Bitcoin server. Lah. So there is no way... There is no way you can buy over one. There is no way. There is no way because it costs too much money. Audrey, not even BlackRock or Vanguard. No, they don't have enough money to buy over. Because uh, I ask you, I ask you one thing. Okay, let's say we just we just okay, we just play a thought experiment. Huh? You, let's say there are 100 servers, but of course 100 server is a bit off like, because there are probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions of servers. Okay. We just talk about simplify the whole network to be 100 server. So if you want to control the whole network, you need to buy over 51 server. Okay, 51 server of our 100. Okay, so I tell you, huh? if you buy uh, 10, 20, I uh, mean, you can still buy 30, 40. I tell you, uh, when you buy number 41, 42, 43, 44, right? I will tell you, uh, every of these server will cost you billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Because if I uh, if I know that you, you want to take over 51%, right? then I say, okay, la, I sell you at, uh, or even though the computer is just $1,000, I sell, I sell you $1 billion, la, you want to buy. Mm -hmm. Nobody can afford one because the selling price is up to me. And the thing is that while I sell $1 billion, it doesn't mean I cannot take your $1 billion and go and create more server and run more server. I can sell you my server on the model, then I use your $1 billion to buy more server to run the mining one. So you can never have enough money to buy over the whole network. It's impossible because of the way it's being designed. So the thing is, you must understand, uh, the designer of Bitcoin, uh, the one who designed Bitcoin, invented Bitcoin, you know, Satoshi Nakamoto, this guy is not really a technological genius. This guy is a fucking economic genius. You don't get it. He is an economic genius. Because to write the white paper of Bitcoin, 
requires knowledge in computer science and economics and human psychology and human 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 psychology how people feel about things okay how they feel about the thing so the person who write the big white paper we actually suspect is not one person because how does one person have the knowledge of computer science economics and and human human psychology to such a deep extent okay <clears throat> so now never mind Alex Tan say what? Hill Hydra. <laughs> yeah, lah. He want to cut off the other two spring up. So this is how people understand human nature and, and why Bitcoin is safe. Okay? That's why the other term of talk, people talk about Bitcoin is that uh, permissionless. Permissionless means that uh, I don't need any permission for me to participate. If I want to buy my server, I just plug into the network. I, I'm part of the server. Then I'm, I'm starting to mine Bitcoin. Okay? So I don't need any permission. So anyone can start and therefore as a result, uh, collectively protect the network. <clears throat> Wufang asked, all the network are built on only one blockchain, which is BDC? No. BDC is its own blockchain. Ethereum have its own blockchain. Okay, maybe, maybe since people ask me about this question, I will just... I will just uh, Go to uh, wait, wait. I just go to uh, I just uh, quit this. Uh, I will show some uh, screenshot. Uh, uh, okay, uh, this one uh, is a Bitcoin pool. Wait, uh, Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me just see. I want to look for some pie chart. Don't, don't be worried about all these numbers. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Bitcoin mining pool chart. Mining pool stuff. You see, it's highly transparent. Uh. You see, uh, the thing is that, uh, okay, this one, uh, okay, these are the gigantic com companies uh, that mines Bitcoin. So you see, uh, even the biggest one, uh, it has about, uh, what is this? Uh? Hey, guy, do you know how do I see percentage? Uh? This one, you just see the... I need to go and find. Okay, never mind, you go and find first uh, while I look at this. Uh, you see, uh, well, we just look at this, this is the total, total, this is the total power of the hand mining law. You notice that uh, the even the first top one uh, just occupy about 11% of the whole 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 hashing rate. That means okay, to simplify the explanation, this one con they control about 11% of the server. Okay, and the next one control about also 11%. Of course, the first more or less uh, the first four or five are uh, control quite a big part already, and then the rest are really quite small one. Uh, but they collectively, uh, they secure the network. Mm. They secure the network. Because nobody can take over the Bitcoin network because of all this thing, okay? <clears throat> but uh, for Ethereum, all, all these, uh, you look at all these, uh, they are all have their own set of uh, mining pool, all this thing, okay? They are all protected. They are untemperable, uncontrollable by any government, okay? Because you know, uh, you see, you have to come to realize, okay, Bitcoin and blockchain uh, is a change of our mindset. You know? Because the thing is that, uh, did, have you seen from all these mining stats? Uh, okay, don't, don't care about the number because I don't want you to get new technicality. The thing is that uh, when we do all that, uh, that means the Bitcoin people and the blockchain people, uh, they are making one decision. They are making one decision. Humans cannot be trusted, only machines can be trusted. Because machine got no emotion, machine will not betray you one. Okay? Pai chart, okay? All right, so this one, uh, pool distribution. You look at this, uh, this one controls 15%, 14%. Nobody controls more than 51. Nobody. If anyone controls more than 51, uh, it's screwed with it. Okay? So all this, all this pool uh, collectively protects Bitcoin. 
The same is true for all, almost all the other crypto. They have their own way of uh, protecting, uh, but essentially it protects, okay? So, I don't want to bore you with numbers, uh, but at least pie chart is at least still a picture. You guys can see the picture, okay? At this point of time, is there any more question? Okay, my point is that you must understand, okay? Where Bitcoin is concerned, uh, I have no doubt, okay? I have no doubt uh, that no government can touch it. No government can touch the money. Okay. <clears throat> At this point, got any question before I move on? Because this one is a very important realization. Okay. Very important. Once you get this, uh, you really get the most part of blockchain. Really. DT say there is still the man machine interface. If the man part is evil and devious with evil intent, it can be effect too, right? The answer to DT is no. Because for even if you are evil, you need a lot of money. You do not have that. Because the design of the system, we do not care whether you are evil. Because the thing is that uh, even if you are evil, you need so much money that no evil person will ever have it. <clears throat> you get my point? So the thing is that, like I say, uh, so sometimes when when some of you guys tell me your conspiracy, I don't really believe in it or I do not need to believe in it because even an evil person need money. You get my point? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, Stephen Kose, so anyone can operate a ledger? Of course. Of course. It's permissionless. It's permissionless. You just need to have money. La. <laughs> because now to run the Bitcoin node, la, you need to have a very fast uh, hard disk and a relatively powerful computer, okay? <clears throat> okay, so they're very interesting. Uh, I, I want to address all the questions because this one is a very, this one is the hurdle. Uh. If you still have doubt, what they mean you don't understand, okay? Stephen Koso answer, anyone can operate a ledger. You just have to have enough money. Huh? Satoshi is sent by the divide to create Bitcoin and blockchain. Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Xiao Ki Wong, okay. Say that government don't allow to use block finance. <laughs> Why does it matter? I, I show you. La. No, I, I, who cares? I show you how I use. Okay, let me, let me, let me. Who cares? The, the thing is, I'm using, I can use Binance, uh, for example, uh, PancakeSwap. Uh. Okay, PancakeSwap, okay, without going to details, uh, PancakeSwap runs on Binance. And I can, I will prove to you that I can lock in. Oh, $5 now. I'm running on Binance Smart Chain. I don't really care what the government say about Binance. All right? Binance! Okay, connect. I connect already. Wa. Who the hell cares what the government say? I don't care. You can say whatever you want. Huh? No, government cannot override. Government cannot override. Government can block the gateway, but never mind. Okay, let me see. So uh, that is why when the government block uh, Binance, right? Binance price go up. BNB, the, the Binance also a coin, right? You go up because the they go to the decentralized part. Okay, so not all blockchain network independent by themselves, not interconnected. There are some bridges for it to be connected. There are some bridges. There they are a lot of bridges now to cross each other network. Your, your Bitcoin can be converted to Ethereum, Ethereum can be converted to Bitcoin and vice versa. Okay? So any ask, how can we access our Bitcoin if we are not able to access internet? Very good question, okay? Because you understand, uh, the person who designed Bitcoin uh, is a person who understands economics and human nature. I tell you, if they ban the internet to ban our access to Bitcoin, what will happen? <laughs> not about human rights, uh, not about human rights. They are also hurting themselves. <clears throat> the thing is that uh, 
if the government want to kill our access to Bitcoin, right, they also have to kill themselves. No, no, no. Cannot, cannot, cannot. My point is that, you see the point is that the way the Satoshi Nakamoto designed Bitcoin, uh, and therefore underlies every other crypto you can hear about, uh, over 10,000 of them, okay? How they design the Bitcoin is based on human nature. And Satoshi Nakamoto clearly understand if you want to ban Bitcoin, you will create as much hurt on yourself. Therefore, you can never hurt yourself. So the, the, the Bitcoin is designed by a person who understands human psychology very well. He is not only a computer scientist, which I am very doubtful that this person is actually Satoshi Nakamoto should be a group of people. is not one person. <clears throat> okay, so now. So you think what? Means government can still work? No, cannot. Unless you want to kill yourself, like, huh? you want to kill yourself, you can. You want to ban all of internet, you go and ban all of internet because you yourself also cannot access. Okay? To ban internet, you will affect everyone. Like, everyone is depending on this. So therefore, since you cannot ban the internet, then Bitcoin will survive. Because the thing is that you see, when, when Satoshi Nakamoto designed Bitcoin, uh, he designed to survive whether you believe or don't believe in Bitcoin. And he, he designed to survive, uh, even if the government at the point of time do not accept Bitcoin. It doesn't care. So the thing is that you see, you look at you look at how Satoshi Nakamoto designed everything. Uh, from the start, how human will behave to it, how economics will behave with it, and how human leader will behave to it, he has thought of it quite clearly right from the start. And therefore, he created a system which nobody can kill. You can try to kill it, but you will kill yourself also. Okay? <clears throat> And then Trudeau frozen account, but not himself. That doesn't really matter, okay? Unfortunately, we all are dependent on internet. Yeah, lah. so they, therefore they cannot kill it. Lah. So I'm not really concerned. The thing is that you must understand human nature. So at this point of time, are you clear why it is safe? Clear? Lah. But, but of course, lah, there is still one issue. Lah, huh? You know, the kind, there are some... Uh, I don't know whether it's the right time to say it now. Lah, huh? There's this issue about stable coin, okay? But never mind, okay? Okay, Parit, I, I okay, I, I can I can I can I can deal with all day, huh? But you still come to the same conclusion. Government can block selected people from internet. I said, no use one. No use. You try to block law. How do you block me? Uh I, I go to some other I Wi-Fi and just connect. It's okay. Wa? How do you know it's me? <laughs> oh, then I use VPN, no, you don't even know it's me. Wa? Or you block, you block my handphone. Lah. I asked uh, someone to buy the SIM card for me, you know, then I access again. No. So what can you do? <clears throat> it's impossible one. I already tell you it's impossible. It cannot be done. Okay? You, you think of it, you can do all the mental experiment. You can ask all the questions whether I can block internet or whatever. You, you find that there's no way to do it one. Okay? That is why blockchain is safe. Why? Because no humans are involved. Because the only person that cannot be trusted are humans. Once humans are taken away from the system, you are safe. Oh, what did, what, sorry, what did Hillary Clinton threaten to do? Uh? Threaten to do what? Susanna Arling asked this. If the government want to block people on internet, said they can also freeze your account. Copy the square one. No. How, how do you bro? How do you freeze content access? You cannot. How I just buy I just ask someone to buy another SIM card for me, Lord. Can we really, then finish video? SK Tan, what part of human nature does Satoshi understand? Human greed. Human greed. He understands human greed. The thing works because of human greed. The things work despite of human greed. The things work in, in spite of human greed. And also the thing work because of human greed. Because I want to make money from, from mining, right? I will help you to secure the network. I will help you to secure the network because I want to make money from mining. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. 
Perrin, yes, the government can instruct in terms of source. First of all, that never happened before. Like, maybe suspend bank account got a like, but, but it's interesting to see them trying to suspend a Wi-Fi account. So then maybe I'll let them suspend. Then I buy another SIM card using another person's name. The USA is legal. Can't catch me? Lah. See whether you can catch her. See whether you can catch her. My bank account got frozen for six months by police. All the more you should go towards blockchain, my brother. <clears throat> hmm? What do you say? She's sister, Xiao Ki's sister. Who's sister? Xiao Ki is a lady. It's a it's a it's a female. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. Government trying to regulate crypto returns. How, how to do it? I also don't know. Do you think possible or not? No, I cannot. I will tell you, I tell you, there are some restrictions. Never mind, never mind. Okay, okay. No, never mind. <clears throat> Steven, I'm not concerned about the crash of Bitcoin. I, I tell the truth. Uh, people who truly believe in blockchain, I uh, don't give a fuck about the price one. Okay? I tell you, Bitcoin today is 10,000. I also don't care. One. Because why? Freedom of more than that. Wa. But anyway, okay, I, I know that sometimes when people talk about freedom, people don't get it. Okay, eventually, uh, if Bitcoin is here to stay, if blockchain is here to stay, uh, because it solves a deeply human problem, right? Because if it solves a deeply human problem, uh, it will eventually go up to 1 million. Wa. So I, why, why do I care whether now it's 10,000 or it dropped 30,000? I don't care. Wa. Why why I care? It's a temporary thing, wa, so I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't matter lah. Huh? Now, now the thing is that uh, they want ordinary fund buy because uh, never mind lah. The, it doesn't matter one huh? Crypto is a way to go. I thought of something. What if the World Economy Forum say to assess their merchandise to use their token unless the non imlati has a separate word from them? Okay lah. Okay lah. I I put it this way. That is why I want more and more people to know about blockchain to know about alternative so they cannot balance off okay the thing is that uh, if there is a big number of people using blockchain right they cannot kill us all like that for example look at canada you can see the live case study really. oh you want to ban a trucker i'm, I'm I, actually i'm not a trucker never mind i withdraw my money lo. if you can ban the trucker why can't you ban me huh then I withdraw the money, like you, you, you see who see who lost. Uh. Come on, I withdraw the money. Okay. In Canada, uh, I tell the truth, uh, the the blockchain population is quite big one. Right? Western country, you know, like uh America, Canada, then just the, the blockchain is quite strong. Okay. <clears throat> they are well educated about blockchain by comparison, uh, by comparison, okay. The World Economic Forum, uh, yeah, like, I mean, like I say, you got to have enough people using so that they, 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 they cannot. You see, if the if later half uh, years from now, right, the blockchain population is only uh maybe two to five percent, right? Which is now now it is like oh. I, squashing this two to five percent is like squashing an end, you know. <laughs> Gone. You know, if two to five percent is now, uh, you're talking about three years back, uh, it's about 0.5 percent, it's worse, okay. So the thing is that I would personally think uh, if the blockchain population reaches 30%, right, uh, we are safe, right? Because there's no way you can take care of this 30%. Right? No way. And then 30%, uh, then the next step is 60, 70, 80. So when that time comes, uh, screw the cabal, man. I don't care. Okay? <clears throat> JJ, how many percent? Like I say, about 2 to 5%. Okay? Uh, presently estimated to be 200 million users. But these 200 million users are people like me, uh, rabid fans. Uh. Rabid fans, okay? But you must go to normal usage. Uh, huh? Go to your normal usage. Today, I will talk about some, something about normal usage. I want, I want to have a simple entry point for all of you guys, okay? Stephen Cole, in reality, how does one actually convert Bitcoin to cash in one? Later, the, the next few slides, okay? Don't worry, okay? Elin and Arun, okay? Finally, if we need to use our funds in the blockchain network, we will not need to bank itself. Of course, I'm not against the banking. The thing is that now, uh, we will still use the banking system, but I do not want to depend on it. We will still use it, no problem, okay? 
The next few slides will address that. Correct, JJ, you asked a very crucial question. So it is like putting a money in the bank. So the way to treat the blockchain is very simple. You just take it as opening a bank account for this case code. Okay? But this bank account, uh, only you can access. The bank also cannot access. Because they, you are the bank. Uh. You are the bank. You are the bank. Okay? You are the bank. Get it clear in your head. Uh. You are the bank. Okay? So this one, uh, let me go on the next slide, which is good. Okay? This is Coinbase and Kraken CEO, which is blockchain company, okay? And I'm very heartened that the blockchain company say things like this, okay? The CEO recommended people to use non-custodial wallet for the cryptocurrency, okay? Why? Non-custodial means crypto wallet, huh? because this is our, we, we know the terminology, but maybe people who are out of the field, they don't know what it means. Huh? Non-custodial means that they don't hold the money. That's why it's non-custodial. The other way of saying non-custodial is just saying, Self custody, self custody wallet. Okay, self custody and non custody is the same, refer to the same thing. Non custody means that see, even the uh, coin is not holding your money. Okay, they're saying that Canadian authorities are scaring their front to kill to civil liberties and are now investigating tweets sent by the CEO of Kraken and Harvest, two of the largest crypto exchanges that recommended the people use non custodial wallet when donating to causes. non custodial wallets are wallets where the user keep their own encryption key and are wallets that are impossible to regulate. This is your opinion. Okay? Actually, one of the texts they also say, okay, they are, they are saying they are saying to all the users, no, if you do not want your money to be controlled, right, don't put your money with me. Because they say they are the owner, they are the CEO of... Uh, Kraken, they are the Kraken you probably heard before. Coinbase, no need to say Coinbase, Coinbase everyone heard before. Okay, even you are not crypto user. Because I listed, they tell they basically tell all the user, if you don't want me to seize your money, please don't put it here. Because if the government you order me to seize, I have to seize already. They have no other choice. But if your money is placed in a non-custodial wallet, I want to seize those kind of fees. That's what they're telling you. Okay. So what does non-custodial wallet mean? So people must be educated. What does non-custodial mean? Which is the same way of saying self-custodial wallet. <clears throat> self-custodial wallet means that only you can touch it. Non-custodial wallet, uh, the user keep their own encryption key. <clears throat> they mean only you can access it. Okay? Uh, I... Uh, uh, Tan, uh, the, I mean, as we have Q&A, of course, it's also good to address now uh, because later when you go to the next slide, uh, because that one just now the slide uh, was a key issue. Once you accept that one, uh, the rest of the thing is easy to understand, okay? So now, go on the next slide. Uh. So when the CEO of Kraken and Coinbase is talking about encryption key, right? They are actually talking about these 24 words that only you know that nobody knows. And as long as you keep it private, even the government won't know. The government will never know these 24 words. Okay? And to make it even more secure, uh, you do not write it down on the paper. Because this one is, when you expose to water, you will crumble. When you expose to fire, you will be burned. You will be destroyed. So what you do, you write that down permanently on two metal plates. Okay, inside our company, we call this two freedom plate uh, because it is the basis of freedom. You write it down on the metal plate. And he say, if only the owner can say, if anything happens, who can inherit? You can pass the metal plate to your, to your, to your next, next of kin. Uh. You can put it in the safe uh, and then say, only when I die, you can open this safe. And open it in this safe, you can accept. Okay. <clears throat> Whoever has this seat has your money. Nobody can, nobody can access it. Nobody can access it at all. Because uh, this wallet uh, is the key to accessing your record on the blockchain, which is stored all over the world. <clears throat> so this metal plate can withstand fire or water. It cannot be destroyed. <clears throat> Recently, we bought a lot of metal plates because we are also storing our asset into metal plates uh, because we do not want uh, fire or anything to destroy it, okay? 
<coughs> so how does it work? So you see, uh, generally speaking, uh, you use a software wallet or you use a hardware wallet, okay? You generate a seed uh, in which you write it down, okay? But the thing is, after you write it down, you must understand, uh, you must understand this, okay? Even if your software wallet is lost, uh, even your phone is lost, even your even hardware wallet is lost, right? Even if they're lost, right? You have this, uh, you buy another wallet, you set it up, it's the same thing, okay? It's the same thing. And people having your wallet now uh, doesn't mean they have access to your seed phrase or so. It cannot be. This particular wallet, right? This one, this one, ah. Uh, Okay, wait, wait. This wallet, right? If people try to dispense it and reverse engineering, uh, this thing uh, will be like James Bond like that. It will self-destruct. Wow. Like James Bond. Wow. Not, not so drama, uh, but basically it will self-destruct. Uh. <laughs> not so drama, like no no music, no music. Uh. Don't, don't, don't think that there's music. There's no music, okay? It will just self-destruct. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> okay? Uh, but if you have a software wallet, right? If you have a software wallet, okay, DTR answer the question. If you have a software wallet, huh, it's a bit uh, less safe. Huh? If you lose your phone, technically speaking, although it's still protected by a password, right, it's still not so easy to get your seed phrase. But uh, given enough time, they can access your they can access your seed phrase. So the thing is, the general rule of thumb, uh, if you ever lose your handphone, uh, change your wallet. Uh, no, don't, don't bother. Don't bother with thinking that people can access it. Maybe people can access it. Maybe, how, how do you know people can access it? Okay? Simple as that. Okay, uh, Iris, if you want to post my link, uh, you must post the full link because you're not, nobody can click on it. Uh. Mm. Yep. Let's say uh, now Ukraine is war. Ukraine got blockchain. What will affect? War, war. Whoa. Now they're having more, right? With Russia, oh. right? Okay. What do I okay. The thing is that uh, there was a question from a live audience. Uh, they were talking about what if uh, there is war, like Ukraine, right? The thing is that even during war, even during war, uh, even during war, there's, there's still internet, right? So you're safe. Uh. I mean, at least the whole world is at war. Uh, maybe there's, maybe Ukraine's internet access is a bit affected. Yeah. But don't worry. I mean, if you, uh, as long as you have internet, you can access your money. Okay, <clears throat> I, I think although Ukraine, some of the internet access is down, right? I I think eventually it will be resumed. Lah, huh? Because internet is so so uh, central to everyone's life, even during wartime, it will still be on. And in fact, during war, it's more essential for the internet to be on, right? Yeah. <clears throat> At this point, got any question? So the thing is like this, okay? If you have a hardware wallet, okay? Later, I will give you a link huh, to buy hardware wallet and to buy this metal plate, okay? Metal plate, we are still shipping in now, so, so maybe just wait a while, okay? So uh, software wallet, uh, yeah, you can do, but the uh, software wallet, uh, you just think of it as convenience, lah, huh? but, but if I ever lose my phone, uh, I will just destroy the software wallet, okay? Uh, it's just simple as that, okay? So now, uh, so now how it do is like this, okay? This key, this wallet, right? The seed phrase, right? Sets up this one, okay? which allow you to access this one, hmm. okay? The government uh, can only see this one. There is no way they can do, do anything to here and do anything to here. Hmm. No, nothing, okay? The thing is that if you don't say, uh, the government don't even know you have a crypto wallet. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> you mean you will come to your door and say, uh, surrender all your crypto asset, and say, what crypto asset? What are you talking about? Finish with you. Uh. DT, like I say, like I say, very simple one. There is no such thing as denial of internet one because it's impossible. It's impossible. It is impossible to implement. Okay? It is impossible to implement. Okay? Uh, Amelia just say, Thought SG, uh, Thought Singapore has just changed the law that they can go to your house and seize your item, metal plate how? Uh... This is a very good question. Uh. Okay, yeah. first of all, there are a few ways I can suggest to you. Okay, yeah. you shouldn't place your better play at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second, second. Okay, second. Uh, second. Okay. Uh, okay, in, in blockchain, there is this technology, there is this methodology called the 25th word. The number 25th word. Okay. 
the number 25th word that is not written anywhere is in your brain. It's something that you know, but you never write down anywhere. Okay? So even if they have the metal plate, they cannot do anything to you. Because the number 25th word is never known to them. And the 25th word, since you never write it down to anywhere, <clears throat> you never write it down anywhere, you can never be exposed. Uh. The 25th word uh, can be <clears throat> part of a poem, part of a novel, or uh, maybe it's a poem, maybe it's a, anything, okay? Which only you know only. And you never tell anyone before. So how does it change? How even if you get even the government get your metabolism, so what? Zero, nothing one. <laughs> that one is a bit of more expert usage, lah, but never mind, just focus on the main thing first. Okay, let's assume that the metal plate uh, the government has no access. Even if they do, also no use. Okay. So you guys understand. Software wallet uh, is like uh, uh Susanna Ling asked before. Software wallet is like something like uh uh you download an app from the from the uh, store. uh from the play store or for what and then you just use that oh but when you do that right when you when you set up software wallet right you set up on your handphone right how do you know your handphone never have any virus that can let people know your secret you don't know right mm. you, you, generally it's quite safe right? but you you can never be sure right but hardware wallet you are sure you know why this hardware wallet that you are showing you now, uh, this one, uh, has no connection to the internet or therefore it cannot be hacked. Mm. It cannot be hacked. No there is no way for it to be hacked. <clears throat> you see, when you go for hardware wallet, uh, please don't go for that kind of high-tech, uh, see me Bluetooth, la, Wi-Fi, la, oh, uh, RFID connect, la, touch. La, no, no, no. Hardware wallet, uh, the lesser feature it has, the better. Please, oh, what, what, uh, tap and pay? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't tap and pay, okay? No tap and pay. Don't ever tap and pay for Huawei wallet. The lesser the feature is better. The way this Huawei wallet uh, interface to the world uh, is through a QR code. And it's very, the interface is so minor uh, that it can never be hacked. And when you try to physically hack it, it will self-destroy. Paper wallet is like a hardware wallet. But paper wallet, huh, you see, <clears throat> paper wallet, huh, one thing is like this, okay? Paper wallet, you cannot do any transaction on it. You just store and then you just hold and then, you know, the paper and then you just hope that 30 years later, you take out the paper, it is still there. Hopefully, there's no fire. Hopefully, there's no water or this thing. Like, if not, you die. Huh? All the paper wallet gone. Okay? So paper wallet, I, I assume you heard it from somewhere. Huh? But the thing is that... Uh, Paper wallet uh, is also cut off from the internet. So it is very safe, but it is just not safe to fire and water. Uh. <clears throat> okay, DT. When you buy cryptocurrency using money through local bank, this should give away that we have crypto. I will teach you away later. Uh, huh? But the thing is that we are not here to circumvent the law. Okay, There are ways to buy without going through the bank because the market is mature enough for that already. Now, I guess it's as much as you can know. Agree they cannot access our blockchain wallet. Uh, yes, they can know. You see, the point is that uh, I, I actually don't mind them knowing I got crypto. I don't mind. Because I go through normal means, they know all my transactions. Uh, uh, but I just don't like you to access my, my crypto wallet. Only, uh. The thing is that, do I have problems showing them my account? No, I got no problem. Uh. I don't mind paying tax on my account. Though, because anyway, crypto earnings are all tax-free. Uh, you, then you know, uh, never mind, but you cannot get any money from there. Uh. There's no tax. Uh. <laughs> but you want to know, I can let you know like, it's okay. Like, huh? But letting you know is one thing. But letting you hold it and freeze it, oh my God, how can? No, you can know it. Like, you know it. Like. It's like uh, Chun Hock, very correct. You can look, look at it as a personal Swiss bank. Mm. <clears throat> so this one, the, the structure you understand. Huh? So the, the, the metal plate is important. Please don't store it in paper. Huh? Paper burn, I've <laughs> got, okay? And this one is a hardware wallet, software wallet. The, the one on the left is hardware wallet. Huh? The one on the right is software wallet, okay? Software wallet. Then you access the blockchain. <clears throat> so you keep this safe. Huh? Nobody will access your, uh, your asset. Keep this safe. 
Later, later, I'll give you a link. Later, wow, very good. I like this kind of uh, audience. Uh. I want to buy things from me. Uh, very good. Trezor is hardware wallet, correct. But I tell you, I'm a big fan of Trezor. But please don't buy Trezor, okay? Why? Buy SafePal. Why? Because Trezor still connect to USB. Once you connect USB, you know, this one uh, is like, uh, it's like, it's like uh, when you stuck it in anything, uh, it's like a, uh, when you stuck in, uh, you don't know what's going through in the USB. You do not know one. You do not know because the connection is there already. When you connect to a USB, I'm screwed with you. I, I just... And the thing is, I just tell you one thing. Trezor is a hardware wallet. Very good, okay? But, but... Trezor, uh, it is possible for a skillful hacker uh, upon accessing your hardware wallet, right? They can dismantle. It does not have the self-destruction mechanism. So technically speaking, a skillful hacker can take your wallet and dismantle your wallet. But it is not possible with SafePal. <clears throat> oh. And also it's USB. SafePal does not have USB. It's that simple. So the thing is that when you keep this safe, right? Government, SafePal, later, later I will give you a link, okay? Later I'll give you a link, then you buy that wallet, okay? There's a series of program, okay? USB, yeah, I tell you like USB is like uh let me just uh, stop sharing uh where's my wallet? Uh? Yeah, you wait, 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 where's my bag? And then, then my bag, okay, okay. Uh, <coughs> okay. See all the wallet I have, uh, so so I tell you uh okay. Okay, USB. Okay, this is Trezor. Huh? Trezor, look at what you have here. USB. It's stuck inside this one. It's like, huh? it's like, uh, you know, it's like sticking something into something. It's like having sex at there. <laughs> then it's like, huh? Don't know what goes on inside. And also, so, so it's unsafe. Okay. And then, huh? When you stuck it in, virus can go through, right? Although it's actually, according to record, never happened before. But when you have this, I feel not safe with it. Hmm? Okay? This one. This is USB. Safe pal. It has no connection to the world. And when you try to dispense it, it will, it will self-destruct. This one. Okay? How does it interface the world? Through a QR code. The interface is very minimal. The lesser it is, the better. Please don't buy those things with Bluetooth, RFID connection, tap and pay. Please, no, 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 no. Crypto, don't tap and pay. No, no, no. No tap and pay, huh? Okay, so this one, huh? What is this? Ledger, but what I have? USB. Safe or not safe? Not safe. Okay. But okay, when I say not safe means, you know, I have a very high definition of what is safe and what is not safe. Huh? Technically speaking, uh, this one and this one, uh, this one has never been hacked before. Whole world. Okay. Let's just say for the record, uh, yet I feel that it's unsafe. Okay. It has never been hacked before. Uh. This one. Uh, to be fair, it has never been hacked before, so it's just that uh, their, e their, their website has been hacked before, so all those people who buy Ledger, right, all their email is exposed to hackers. <laughs> so, so they will email to all the Ledger owners and say, you give me one Bitcoin, if not, I come to your house and kill you off. <laughs> so therefore, uh, so Ledger have this, part. but Ledger, to be fair, huh, you try to dismantle it, there is also a self-destruction mechanism. Okay, so this is safe to a certain extent. Okay, but uh, this one is a stupid uh, wallet. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's safer than this one. Uh, but this one practically cannot be used. Uh. I, I, I don't know how to tell you, but the, please don't buy Ledger, please. It's the most expensive and most useless. Okay, this one is $49. This one is, uh, I think, 89 
<laughs> this one is so much more useful and, and safer. Buy this one. Buy this one. It's cheaper. Even huh? also cheaper. And you buy two of free shipping. <laughs> this one you buy whatever still got shipping. Okay. So don't, don't buy ledger. I mean, I, I use all of them. So I, so I roughly can tell you what's the problem for all of them. Okay. But you're talking about whether any of them has any, uh, I've been hacked before. The, the answer is no. Lah. They are relatively good. Okay. But uh, once you got USB, mm, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, just now a question asked, okay. Uh, if, if what? If the wallet cell destroyed, then how we retrieve back the coins? Ayah, let me look at the slide. I thought I told, I told you guys already. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, my, my can jump, my can jump. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. How come the screen? Huh? Wait, wait. Let's stop. Okay, okay, Ken. So now, uh, I thought the, the thing is I tell you the... The metal plate, this one? This one destroys you, got this one. You buy another one and re restore. Oh. So, uh, when you have this one, right? You prevent the bank from taking your money. You prevent a Steve from taking your money. You also prevent the police from taking your money. You also prevent a lawyer from taking your money. Okay? This one, uh, you also prevent your family from taking your money. Sometimes I tell you, uh, the people who take your money is your family member. <laughs> So you got to prevent that also. Sometimes the nearer, the easier. <clears throat> so you got to prevent uh, your family from taking your money. I mean, you may want to give them in the future, like, huh? but you give them, uh, you give them through a process. Like, huh? Maybe the process is after you pass away or whatever. You know, you can even set the uh, things like, huh? even if you pass away, right? You can every every year give them 10 percent only. Also can like that one. You, you can do it through a smart contract. <clears throat> Any question? So it's 928, yeah. So now we talk about the other part. Okay, we go on the next step already. So after we know that crypto is safe, right? The next thing is usability. Okay. There is no point uh, for something to be so safe until uh, you also cannot use it. A good example would be what is the good example? CPF. Why is CPF safe? Guys, can you give me an answer? Why is CPF safe? Why is CPF the safest asset ever? Why? <laughs> Correct. Even you cannot touch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Even you cannot touch it. So it's the safest one. You see, uh, OCBC, uh, your, your bank account can be hacked. Well, you can mistakenly transfer 100,000 to people. You can mistakenly lose 100,000 people. But that is possible for OCBC. But it's not possible with CPF because you know why? It is so secure that even you also cannot get the money. Yes. When you cannot even get the money, it's the most secure. But we do not want our crypto wallet to be like that. We, don't want to, we do not want to create another CPF, okay? We want to create something that is safe and if we don't take out, it is just like CPF. But if we want to take out, we can take out anytime, Okay. So that's the thing we're not achieve. Okay. So for crypto to be useful, still need to trade with traditional finance selectively. Okay. For example, I will, I will just usually in my traditional bank account, I'll just put a few hundred dollars, you know, sometime, you know, to buy what buy chicken rice, you know, buy, you know, whatever like any just day to day leaving what. But you say, uh, will I store my 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 net worth on the on the bank? Of course not, like you kidding me. Why would you do that? Why would anyone do that? <clears throat> Why would anyone do that? So, so now, uh, I want to give you a method that is the best of both worlds. You enjoy the safety of crypto. You enjoy the convenience of your normal Visa and MasterCard. Well, well you're going to transfer a big amount of money also. That's the way. Well, let's just talk about... Uh, Few hundred, few thousand, or even tens of thousands. No, no, no problem. Don't, 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 don't ever fret over there. It's no, no problem. Okay. And you see, uh, when you have millions of dollars of Bitcoin, right? Let's say you have millions of dollars of Bitcoin, right? There are people who don't understand. Uh, do you know what is the amount of time needed uh, 
to sell your millions of dollars of Bitcoin and cash out. Do you know, okay, we just talk about sell. Do you know how much time is needed to sell your $1 million Bitcoin? How much, do you know how much time is needed? Can someone give me an idea how much time is needed? <coughs> Guys, give me a, give me a time. Eh? So I can understand whether your, what is your expression of uh, Bitcoin selling. <coughs> Guys? Correct like instant, no? Oh, one second. <laughs> I actually maybe 10 seconds. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you were using text. Huh? Uh, instant, like instant, instant, instant. Instant, okay? Effectively, it's instant. Huh? So, uh, so let me go on the next slide. This one just arrived yesterday. Huh? Yes. It's a whole new uh, crypto debit card. So the Irish Co can leave us his crypto savings and investments. Thank you very much. Stop man. So when you have this, uh, you just transfer inside a car and then you use it. So what's the big deal? Then you can use it for grab, you can use it for go to Ting Tai Fung to eat, go to restaurant to buy food, uh, go to watch movie, whatever. Lah. I mean, you want to pay for your insurance. Uh, I, I, I don't see whatever you cannot do, okay? They are go pay way for this thing, okay? You go to NTUC, buy your grocery, you can go, you can go buy anything. Lah, huh? <clears throat> and of course, this one uh, is uh, government regulated. Uh. So so you just accept uh, also whatever inside the government will know about it. Uh. Then, let, then let them know uh, it's okay. Uh. You just want convenience, okay? Uh, okay. Perin uh, links to your Bitcoin account. Actually, it links to all your crypto account. Uh. You can be... Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know whether how many crypto you heard of it, like, like Phantom, uh, Pi, uh, uh, what, uh, Matic, Polygon, uh, uh, AVAX, whatever crypto you can think of, whatever thing crypto you can think of. Uh, oh. So, Susanna, every time you withdraw, there's a fee. I, I think the fee uh, is so small uh, that you don't even bother about it. It's like, it's like I don't know what's Maybe a few cents, I don't know. It's just so cheap that you don't even bother about it. Uh, you don't wor worry about that. Like, don't worry about that. Huh? It's more like for convenience purpose. Like, huh? so, and, and I just want the thing is that uh, you have this one convenient. That means few hundred, few thousand, uh, even 10, 20,000 is not a problem. Okay. They, this one, that means daily, daily spending, you just spend. Uh, huh? But you're talking about a bigger amount. Uh, let's say people will just say, hey, I need to withdraw 100,000. How? No problem. Uh, 100,000. Uh, Hundred thousand use this method. There are other ways of getting money crypto in now. Okay. We intend to provide this service as well. So for a limited number of people. For example, let's say uh, you have uh let's say for example you have about ten thousand worth of USD. Then you just say I want to cash out. Then I say never buy from you lah. Buy from you. Come. Uh let's say I give you a rate, uh maybe uh, 1.35. Okay. Uh, you want to buy? You 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 want to sell to me? Then I buy from you lah. Then you can cash out already. And of course, this one can be, uh, one shot can be 50,000, 100,000 or whatever. Lah. So, so this one, you know, this method lah, can be millions of dollars also can. Lah. <clears throat> and for, for, for example, when you do this way, right? I mean, for me, like when you sell to me or you buy from me, lah, I mean, for, for the sake of legal compliance, I will still need to get your IC. Lah, huh? But it's more like for me to record, I sell you this amount. So I, I just I just tell you often first, like, if the government can't check, I'll just say, oh, this person bought from me $1 million or this thing. Then I'll just tell the government. So in case their government spy here, uh, I intend to comply with the law. Huh? Okay. So I intend to get the identity of all my clients. But the point is that, uh, that that's, that's, me la. actually most of the people who do P2P they will also do the very basic level la. what is your ice number uh you know uh then then you just give them uh, that way no no big deal la, huh? so and then and then you just uh I remember that time when I do a fifty thousand dollar deal right I just record the IC name la, huh? I, I I I sort of thought that it may be it may be rude to just copy down the 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 IC number but I I, I guess if I copy down IC name if I provide to any law enforcement, they will know who is it. So, so then I don't really need your IC number. I didn't even know your name. And from your IC number. So, so from your IC, I know a name, then can read. Huh? <clears throat> ah, straight, yeah, any, straight away. Any. So, several Chris convey to cash. 
There are people who do that, huh? you go to pay now also. So pay now can be uh can be tens of thousands or I, I, I am not so sure whether pay now can go to hundreds of thousands now. But if hundreds of thousands just do a ten thousand, tens of thousands few times. Uh. Oh. So no no problem. Uh. Huh? But nowadays, because of OCBC stupid scam thing, uh, I tell you now every bank uh, add your name as a payee. Uh, need to wait four hours. May bank need to wait four hours. I, okay, Sarah, you, you don't get it. I will just collect your name. I won't give to the government one, okay? <clears throat> but the thing is that, uh, I, the, the, the thing is that, I, I, it's not that I want to give to the government, it's just that whenever they come and check, uh, I tell you, if they, if they suddenly find that, or you don't know the IC number of this thing, uh, then they say that you are doing money laundering or this shit. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't want that to happen. Uh, uh. But uh, my point is very simple. Uh, I, honestly, if we just make money from crypto, I mean, even if you say, or oh, I make money, I make, uh, let's say, 500,000 from crypto, so what? Anyway, anyway, huh, there is no need to keep it secret. Huh? Crypto earnings are not taxable, period, end of story. You declare to IRAS, they're not going to tax you, okay? So, 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 so don't bother with, huh? hey, let's just secretly catch up. Huh? Don't, don't, don't bother with this bullshit. Since there's no tax anyways, why you bother? Then you just declare that no, so why 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 so you don't worry about that part unless you tell me the five thousand is actually from selling M16. Nah, then you <laughs> then, then I say basket, you better know. I don't want to change with you, I scared no uh what weapons are no 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 uh, Emily there's a recording for this session so you can have it later huh don't worry <laughs> oh so so uh yeah so now it's 9.38. Uh, I need to extend it a bit. Uh. So, so now we are near to the end anyway. Uh, uh. This is just to tell you the concept. Okay. So now, uh, okay. So now the thing, the second part is really after you convince you of the safety, right? I also want to convince you it's easy to take money out. Uh. End of story. Mm. So the thing is that uh, for all intent and purpose, please just treat it like opening another bank account. Mm. Okay. So that time, uh, you know, a few days back when I say I'm going to shift Iris uh, donation, right? The legal fund to a uh, crypto wallet. Huh? Then the whole internet huh? talking about me with crypto. La, 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 la. I, I tell you, la, these people don't know one, you know. It's just like opening a bank account. Actually, it's safer, you know. Then there are some people say, ah, you, you don't trust the bank. Uh, then we draw money, put under your pillow. Nonsense. This bad one, you know. Put under the pillow. <laughs> put under the pillow for what? I don't know. La. Nonsense, right? Okay, so now uh, there is another way. There's this thing, uh, these are for the for the people who are more conservative, right? There is a there is a very passive way, right? There is a there's a very passive way of earning about 20% a year. The interest a year. Okay. All the thing we need to do is to deploy the money there and click, click, click. I think three times I finish it. Then you just wait for. The, 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 the interest are daily accrued one. Uh. Daily accrued. It's not yearly accrued one. Uh. And you want to take out the money anytime you can. Uh. Oh. So you can take out the money anytime. Better than bank. Better than bank. Wow. Daily accrued. There is no, no such thing as early penalty, all this. No, no, no. This is nonsense, okay? <clears throat> okay. So now. So this one is, uh, okay, at the end of the day, I'm also running a course. Uh, if you guys feel that uh, uh, you are okay with me teaching you, then of course we can form a relationship together. Uh, uh. But of course, even if you don't like me, uh, please get into the blockchain, okay? Because I, I really feel safer if you get into the blockchain, okay? At least buy a wallet, uh, buy, buy the crypto, uh, crypto wallet for me. Uh. Okay, so now. Uh, uh, Axie Infinity is okay, the next thing uh, I'm going to talk about, uh, okay. The, okay, the first thing I'll talk about, crypto wallet are safe. Second part is talking about how to cash in and cash out. So that you see, uh, when you do when you deal with crypto, right, it doesn't really affect your personal life. Right? You want money, you want money to buy chicken, right? You just take out the money and just buy, okay? You want the money to take out uh, to, to, to pay for your monthly, uh, let's say your condo servicing. You take out money and just pay. Lah. Just pay, Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Perrine, uh, the interest is paid from the blockchain activity. Okay, the, the simple way to, to, to answer you is like this. Law. Like I say, the, the, there is 
there's a reason why the first part of the presentation I took so long. Uh, because as the result of storing the network, there is a reward to it. Okay, there is there is actually revenue generation from blockchain one. Okay, so the interest is paid from all these blockchain related returns. <clears throat> oh, whether it's from confirmation, whether it's from storing the network, all this thing, there is a reward one. So the reward comes from there. So the reward actually comes from revenue. It doesn't come from future investor putting money. That's called Ponzi scheme. This, this one, uh, the money come in, uh, is you, we all know that it's from revenue. There is a revenue generation. Mm. Uh, so I hope that, that as to the revenue generation, what, what mechanics are, uh, is too much of a topic to talk about. You know, they, there is people on the net, uh, they talk about one hour about the mechanics one. So we you just take it at face value is 20%. Okay, so so uh, again, again, like I say, if you accept, you accept, you don't accept, uh, so okay. Okay, let's just move on. Okay, of course, if later you want to know uh, we actually have a video uh, about that. Uh. I think it's catalyst.cc slash UST. Uh, huh? So if you want to see, you see. If you don't want to see, it's okay. Okay. So that one is a 20-minute video to talk about that one, uh, which is outside the, the, the scope of this video. Uh, huh? So, okay. Uh, Xiao Qi, the difference between USDT, which better? Okay, very simple. Very good question. I was coming to this, okay? USDT, yeah. Uh, Technically speaking, it's a centralized stable coin. Okay, it is managed by a company called Tether. Okay, I, I just tell you, okay, centralized stable coins like this, even if it's in your crypto wallet, uh, technically speaking, uh, USDT, the company running it, uh, Tether, can still freeze your crypto USDT balance. Mm. Technically, they can. Okay, it has happened before. Because the issuer is a central entity, okay? UST is a decentralized stable coin, okay? I inherently I trust UST more. You know why? Because the, the, the company managing UST, uh, Tether Luna actually sued the SEC in US, so I trust them. <laughs> in, in crypto, uh, in crypto world, uh, who do you trust? The person who sues the government. And just for the record, we sue the government. Just in case you know, uh, we are the only crypto company in Singapore that sue the government, okay? So by the logic, you should trust us. Uh, but I leave it up to you, okay? I leave it up to you, okay? The thing is that in crypto company, in crypto company, uh, we only trust the company that sues the government. Because I need to know where you stand. Uh. So, so the thing is that uh, when the government issue your court order, what will you do? The, the what Terra Luna respond is to sue the government. Okay, the case is still going on. Sarah, how to take up money to pay for chicken rice? Yes, using the crypto credit card. Small amount, use crypto credit card. Don't, don't bother. Huh? I withdraw $10. No, 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 no. no. A waste of time. You, know? you click so many buttons for $10. No, no. You want to do all that nonsense. Huh? You do it for a few thousand or whatever, you know. Hundreds of dollars, thousand dollars. Just go to the water, click, go to your import into your debit card and finish case code, then move on, okay? Bigger amount of money, go through the bank transfer. There's a bank transfer method. Crypto also can do bank transfer, okay? If you want to, don't want to go through bank transfer, because transfer will take three days. <clears throat> you do the face-to-face, -face, right? Which is this method. Okay, this method, huh? immediate. You just meet the person and they pass in the money and they give you a coin, or you pass in a coin and give you the money straight away, okay? Uh, Xiao Ki said the value is the same. Uh, yes, UST and USDT is the same. Huh? But honestly, I feel that USDT is not safe. Huh? Axie Infinity is a digital... Okay, okay. So the third part of the video, which is a third part, uh, is a very short part, okay? But the third part is really talking about making money from blockchain, okay? And I do not want... Okay, typically when people talk about blockchain, right? Uh, people always talk about buy low, sell high. I mean, yes... Uh, you can buy low and sell high. You know, uh, like uh, Phantom uh, used to be uh, used to be 20 cent. Now it's about you ever go up to 350 before? $3.50 is about that, that's a lot of times. You know, 10, 10 times. You know, okay. Uh, that what happens, okay. <clears throat> but the thing is that uh, nowadays blockchain, uh, you should have a concept, okay? You are activity to earn. You see, blockchain is very much a 
activity to earn thing, okay? Even when the starting of the blockchain is very much like mining, keeping records. So you make money from there, okay? It's very much like activity to learn. Activity to earn. You do some activity to earn. Mining to earn. Running a node to earn, okay? So uh, now, now it's like uh, playing games to earn, okay? So they, so, so they expand to more, more fields. Uh. Okay, wait, I've got some question. Uh, Alternatives say, can use for money, gyro. Uh, answer is yes, lah. I mean, I mean, true, true visa, lah, oh, true visa, okay? True visa, I mean, nowadays a lot of money payment also go through visa. Wa. Gyro is actually quite, 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 quite lousy one, you know. Fill out so many forms for one. Huh? Uh, and then you had to prove, ah, nonsense one. You, you might use credit card and then you just, which, which the, which the crypto credit card is, what? So you just use that one and pay, lah. Oh? So this one, lah, XC Infinity is one of the sort of the among the first game file. Huh? Let me just play the video so that you can understand the concept. Huh? Axie Infinity is a digital pet community where players. So basically, this part huh, is really to play to earn or some activity to earn. Okay, you must know uh, blockchain is very much for activity to earn. Huh? Can sell their in game characters for real money using the Ethereum blockchain. <laughs> Players can breed their axes to discover exciting new combinations. Axes start off as eggs and require love and attention from their owners to grow up. Take care of your axes and earn experience points by completing daily activities. Experience points to level up your axes and unlock new abilities, which can be used in battle. You can even trade your axes for cryptocurrency on our marketplace. Find out more on axieinfinity.com. Available now. So nowadays people talk about NFT, NFT in game, and you can sell all of these things, huh? So so that's the concept, huh? So the okay. So now, huh? Uh, we also involved in another NFT, or no, no, in another game five uh, platform like it's called Affin. Okay, we actually involved in it uh, quite early, so we actually earned twenty times. Uh, there was a time we earned about twenty times, uh, But yes, you know, like it's dropping. But why? Maybe you ask me, how come it's dropping? I still make money because I bought at about. Hey, at the time, it's how many cents? Uh? Uh, we bought at eight cents. Eight cents. So eight cent uh, now is about I don't know now it's about twenty cent right? It's still something uh, three hundred percent. Huh? Still okay uh, Okay. Uh, Susanna, if someone steal a credit card, you just you just cancel it. Okay, just like a normal debit card. Okay. Uh, UST and USDT is they are the same value but they are not the same. Okay. So they fluctuate widely. I, I, I mean, I, I won't show you this card. I don't want to show you there's no risk because if you were to buy in open market, you will sure lose one. Because we buy in the pre-market stage, uh, of course, we make money. Lah, oh. So the, the thing is that sometimes it's early access that get the money. Okay, USDC uh, is just as bad as USDT. Okay, Because it is centralized. Okay, It's circles. Okay. But circuit is very better than USD. USDT is the worst one. I don't don't buy it. Oh. USDT, the good thing is that it's the earliest. So this is the other game. Yeah, like this one is the same game now. Oh. The 20 times to fluctuate widely. Okay. So this one is the, this one is a game that we're involved in. Uh. This one is early stage. The game haven't even been developed yet. Uh. So we are starting very early. So for people who are in part of our network, right, they can be participating in this. So sometimes when the game is like 100 times, right? You actually put $100, 100 times is 10,000 return. So you actually, honestly, when the return is so much, right? You actually don't need to put in so much money. So the, actually, the risk is actually lower. I mean, granting that your $100 can still be lost. Okay? I don't want to give you like a, crypto is not a bit of roses. Uh. Sometimes it can be total loss. But the point is sometimes, you know, when the gain is so high, uh, you just, let's say you put on five projects. Let's say one, one uh, you, right? <laughs> you, you make back all the money 
and plus more, 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 so much more huh, than the one you lost in another four. But I tell you, my success rate is usually maybe four out of five. Oh, and the five I lost, I lost. Huh? Yeah, I just say, okay, lor, 2,000 gone already. But if I win, the uh, 2,000 become 20,000 or, you know, that kind of thing. Like, so, 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 I mean, lost, lost, uh, never mind. Like, oh. But you must know how to adjust yourself and all things like that, okay? So let me play this video. Huh? The Odyssey Introduction. Meta Odyssey, a free to play NFT trading card game which is playable on your web browser. Starting off with 60 characters, each with their own unique NFT and level. Increase your combat power value by playing them either in combination or by upgrading them. The starting point is the white card. As you progress, set your eyes on the diamond card, the ultimate playing level, and ticket to increase your wealth. Increase your combat power value and experience value by playing the game. Owning unique NFT cards or opening loot boxes using MUD tokens. There will also be events to win loot boxes and attractive prizes. Look out for it! The more you play, the more you earn. Earn up to 1000% of your NFT cards combat power value when engage in battle with other players or in the game. This will multiply your mining power to maximize your earnings. For players who did not play, we have also catered some combat power value for you just by owning and sticking your NFT cards. As the value of your NFT digital assets increase, you can either sell or rent your NFT cards to others. We have a marketplace where you can choose either the Ethereum, Binance or Solana blockchain to mint your NFT cards. This is designed for you to earn from your NFT cards and to maximize your wealth. Our one-of-a-kind clan GameFi system also allows you to be a clan boss and build your own clan. Inviting your friends to play with you will also help to increase your combat power value and promote your clan levels. This will boost your mining share to maximize your earnings. And there's more! Meta Odyssey will also have different types of lands where players of different experience levels or clans of different levels can battle it out for their combat power value. So remember to build your clan to win in the battles in these lands. Meta Odyssey allows everyone to have fun with their family and friends from the game while increasing their personal wealth through blockchain mining. This will reach all corners of the world. Let's do it together. May you have the best gaming experience in Meta Odyssey. Meta Odyssey is developed by Blizz Lab. Okay. Okay, so, so now, uh, I mean, of course, I'm sending some causes. Uh, so at this point of time, I'll just ask for you for uh, permission to tell you about the causes. So if you uh, if you don't have attend, because it's fine. I mean, I hope you learned something today. So the thing is that uh, I'm launching a course that uh, got you how to uh, get thing. I'm showing you how to do it. Uh, uh, basically, it's like how the USD in wallet, how to earn it and bonus. There's uh, insurance for If you lose it, uh, they will, the insurance will pay you back. Uh. There's some insurance to it, okay? Okay, so now this is the first part. Uh. How to earn this 90% a year, okay? Then the second part uh, is that, uh, for example, if you are, uh, uh, this course also will guide you uh, setting up your yes. hardware yes. wallet and software wallet, okay? And setting up the crypto.com, okay? These few things, okay? Which I feel that uh, this, these few things, why would it, the, the, the left side uh, is to secure your safety of your asset. The right side huh, is so that you can interface with the traditional finance. Okay. At least your balls are not being tied to them. Okay? If you want to use them, use them. If you don't use them, don't use them. Like, huh? <clears throat> okay. So, and then of course, for people who are part of us, right, you will be you'll be highlighted to some something, uh, some some projects uh, that you involve early, uh, you can be 10 times, 100 times, but, but all these things is just projection. You can also lose all your money, okay? But the thing is, if you tell me hundred times there, just put hundred dollar there, so if you fight Kana there, get ten thousand now. Then finish yeah. If I lose hundred dollar, uh, it's a bit sad But life move on, you see. Hundred dollar then move on, huh? Oh, okay. Actually, for this Afin, uh, we put four thousand dollar, but never mind, lah. Oh, so four thousand and and based on now the value is about uh three times, right? Three to four times. Who well, are used to be forty thousand? But we didn't sell huh? But actually, they give you part by part, so you can't sell all anyway. But we we cash out about we cash out about thousand dollar, okay? In which half of it, huh, I'm going to pass to Irish new crypto debit card, okay? 
So Iris is going to earn from uh, uh Iris is going to uh you know buy food using that debit card. Okay. So the long story short is that uh, for those who are part of our group, right? You were that this part uh, is when okay, there's uh this part, let's say for people who want to uh this one is a separate service, like, uh, but anyway, you learn first, okay. The separate service you want to engage, you engage, don't engage so okay, okay. So the thing is that growing your funds, right? Okay. Uh, you may want to deploy at least $2,005. Uh, so 19% per annum is about $500, uh, $500 per year, okay? So the thing is that, of course, you can cash out anytime. Uh, so there's no lock-in period on this thing, okay? So the... Yeah, Adeline, that's, that's good that you know that, okay? So the thing is that, uh, uh, then, of course, we are also expose you to some special deal in game five, all these things. Uh, so, so when there's new deal coming, uh, that we should have a chance of 10 times, 100 times, all these things, uh, you can part of it, okay? So now, uh, so now, okay. So this cost, uh, okay, okay, wait, wait. this cost uh, is presently priced at $200, okay? $200, okay? For those people who have donated to RS before, uh, even if you donate $1, it is free for you. Okay, even one dollar, even if you donate one dollar, it's free. Okay, so it's free for you. Okay, for for those people who have donated before, you just attend the course. You you don't have to pay. Okay, you don't have to pay. For those never donate, never mind. You can still pay for this. Two hundred dollars is quite, I think, quite uh cheap uh, Okay, so now uh, I mean two hundred dollars involve all this uh, teach you all this thing uh how to set up a wallet and then uh, set up wallet and then of course getting this uh this one is uh usually we want to handle you. One on one or one on at the most one on two. Right? So we, we definitely want to make sure you know how to use it. Okay. <clears throat> Which exchange? Uh, I believe it was pancake swap. Uh. Oh banking, pancake swap. Is that still open to donation? <laughs> okay. no, I think no, we have to be fair to people. Okay. So as of yesterday, donated. Then as of yesterday, la, huh? Scarly, you say they I say yes, the uh, okay, then you donate one dollar. <laughs> Then, yeah, yeah. then not so good, lah. Huh? <laughs> Technically, because even if it's only one dollar, I I wouldn't let you in, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> so now, so now the thing is that uh, this is about two hundred dollars. Okay, so so the wallet, uh, the hardware wallet for those who want to buy, uh, it is priced at about I don't know. Uh, Peka, you already changed the price already, right? So I will show you the website. Uh. Yeah. So the website, uh, can you post the link there, uh, Peka? Okay. So now, uh, I will just go to the website. Uh, freedom catalyst.cc freedom uh, the freedom package uh. so you are, uh, just to confirm you are seeing the website uh. okay so now please go to the website if you are able to you can access from your phone okay so now uh, okay so now uh, this one is the form okay you can fill out your name your email your telegram id is optional your handphone is optional uh, but for, of course, we advise you to really feel so that we can contact you. Uh, because sometimes email, uh, people nowadays don't really read email. Uh, so when you go down here, okay, Zoom learning, okay, grow your funds at 90% per annum, okay? So uh, then of course, uh, you, uh, you, let's say you want to buy the freedom plate, right? You know the metal plate? If you want to buy one, okay, remember one, uh, you can already store two times four twenty four C word, okay? If you want to just store for yourself, just buy one. Uh, uh. If you want to buy two sets, uh, just to give one to your friends, uh, by all means do so, okay? Okay, so so the thing is that, uh, like, uh, okay, let me see. Uh. So you just, let's buy one. So when you click on this 40, right, the total will be updated accordingly. So you will say 240, okay? Then later you can pay through PayPal or whatever, uh, pay, pay, PayPal or PayNow, okay? So let's say uh, you also want to buy uh, the PayPal wallet, right, okay? Uh, you buy one is ninety dollars. You buy two is hundred sixty dollars. So there is some because they buy why why buy two cheaper eh? Because actually anyway buy two right the safe pal absorb the shipping cost. They you don't need to charge the shipping cost. Okay. So you buy one is ninety. Buy two is uh, hundred sixty lah. Huh? So you if you, if you click this one you don't click this one huh? Because then I will I will give you three. Okay. You just you either click one or two lah. Huh? I did this one. So don't don't click two lah. You will click two. I, 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 you will you will be. You'll be charged three safe wallet. Okay. Then I will send you three safe wallet. Okay. So now, uh, so when you have this, yeah, I tell you what, DT, I tell you what, the best way is like this. Okay. Uh, you, you, if you want to get the details, right? You can come to this form. You have to fill out your name. Okay. So the thing is like this. Okay. 
You may need to submit this form with your relevant preferred option. After submission, payment instruction will be sent to your email so that you may make convenient by using. Okay, if you uh, if after you see the offer, right, you you don't want to pay for it, then the offer will just lapse the house. So so it's just for me to conveniently give you the payment instruction. But if you ignore the payment instruction, I'll just take it as the the, the offer lapse, and then I mean it's just for convenience. I mean I just send to you, and then. Uh, you can choose your way of payment or this thing, like, uh, and then, then you can choose to pay or not to pay. Like, uh. This is just to get your interest level. Like, uh. So for those people who are, want to attend the course and buy the wallet, right? Uh, please do so. Uh, please do so. At the meantime, uh, if you're interested, let's say you, you say that I have 10,000, I have 20,000, I have 50,000, they want to put into some wallet, and you are putting into your own wallet, uh, you're not passing the money to me. Uh. Okay? You are not passing the money to me. You are putting into your own wallet. Okay? It is a self-custodial wallet. The money in your wallet, I cannot touch one. Nobody can touch. Because I don't have your 24 secret. Okay? So, so therefore, uh, if, you are, if you are buying the Freedom Plate and the Safe, Safe Health wallet, right? What you need to do is, of course, you need to tell me whether you are interested to grow your funds. Or let's say you want to place 2005 or 5000 or 10000 into your own wallet uh, <coughs> and grow at uh, 20% a year right tell me then i will contact you and then we we i'll just tell you what is the offer and all this thing and then i'll tell you the process okay at the same time uh, if you are buying uh if you are buying uh the plates and the wallets right please fill up your address because i will need to send to you okay if you are not buying these two things you only get the cost. You do not need to fill the address because there's nothing to send to you. Okay, get it? There's nothing to send to you. So when you go on, right? If you want to choose to pay by pay now, right? Uh, you can choose to pay via your banking app. Or I know that since you're on the handphone now, right? Sometimes it's very inconvenient to switch between the browser and app, all this thing, okay? So never mind. What you can do is that you fill out the form uh, let's say, for example, I just tell you what happened when I fill out a form. Let's say I put in my own email address. Uh, let's say, Amen. Uh. <coughs> let's say I fill out my email. Uh. Okay, let's say I just say, uh, okay. Let's say, uh, okay, like, first of all, I'm not going to fill out anything else. So I just submit form. Okay, I will just let you see in the email what I will see. Uh, Sarah, later I answer you. Uh. Okay, so now this field is required. Sorry. Uh. Hey, Kai, did you set the compulsory here? I don't remember setting compulsory here. Like. Uh, I adjust again. Um, can there be a few for people who <coughs> have to me? They can fill up their, the way they make the payment to me, like either by their pay now number or email, PayPal or something. Can we write a few? Take okay. I. No, 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 no. Okay. Maybe yeah, at the, at the price uh, You refresh the page, okay. Did you set to compulsory? I never set to compulsory, right? Uh, could be done by accident. Uh. Okay, never mind. So let's go on. Uh. So let's say I will just submit now. Okay. Submitted. So after that, uh, <clears throat> of course, if I, if I am... Paying by pay now, right? I will just ignore this, okay? So, uh, what will happen is that I will just go to my email. You got a payment instruction, will go to my email. Huh? <laughs> For the... Uh, the form... Uh, I tell you what, you still submit the form. Uh, then you then you just of course by default choose pay now, huh? Then of course the uh, if you are a donor, then forget about two hundred dollars, okay? But you pay for the the metal plate and also the. Uh, but of course, when you reply, you indicate that you are a donor, huh? Then then we check our record. I I mean, I will just take it at face value. If you say you are, then you are, okay? Then put a few how they how just a, like how did they donate. 
like is it by pin on number or email or something that should be yeah, yeah, yeah. Then so the reply the email is for that purpose la. so the form doesn't have that uh, that feature now okay so rather than okay so now uh let me see uh, i just fill up the form so i just want to show you that uh So you see, yeah, I am just I just fill up this form. So you see, when I fill this form, right, I will receive this uh, reply. Okay. So it says here I need to pay two hundred forty. Okay, but in the case uh, where you are donor, then just ignore the, you just ignore. Of course, you just if you, let's say you are donor, right, you just reply, uh, I donated whatever X amount, huh? and uh, I will pay $40. Oh, remember, they must say, well, how did they donate? Like they donated 88, let's say via pay now number. Yeah, pay now, pay, or PayPal. Pay with the, with or the details. Some, some may just donate cash, uh, huh? so so whatever option. Uh, so so you just say it like this. Okay, and then- now, the number, that must have the number or the email for us to check, okay? Uh, and my pay now, let's say. Why don't we just add one field in the form? No, no. I I reach, I reach, I reach. We do not add the field in the middle of an event because it's too many unknown already. Okay, so so I will just do this. Okay, pay now is whatever. Lah, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Lah. Okay, so for example, lah, huh? then I just reply. Lah, huh? Then after that, lah, you just pay now to this uh, QR code. Okay, then you just say 240. Lah. Huh? So said, wait, 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 I agree, sorry. Uh, what, what do you want to say? Basically, those who donated, they get the cost for free, but then they will pay for the metal plate, lah, correct? Or the wallet. Or the wallet, okay. So there's no provision to form for free cost because of the donor. Fine, like I say, you submit anyway. Okay, the thing is that if you're a donor, don't worry, you just submit and then you will receive an email. You see, I mean, I, I don't know how to make it simpler. Huh? You, will re you submit, okay? Then you receive an email. So whatever the total here, you just don't pay the $200. Finish, case close. Okay, no matter how much you donate, okay, even one dollar, we have you minus off two hundred dollars. Okay. So can I have roughly a an indication of interest, uh, maybe you put on a chat box, uh, how many of you are interested? You're not interested, it's fine. I mean, be be involved in blockchain anyway. Uh, just just go on. Uh, uh, okay, Chun Tech can. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yeah, I received some, uh, some, some email. Uh, huh? <laughs> second of March. The course is second of March. Okay. So if you're interested, please uh, please just uh, submit the form. Can uh, Pei Kai put the form again? Huh? Well, the course is targeted to be four hours. No computer knowledge can also, right? Can. No computer knowledge also can. So no computer knowledge can, uh, no problem. Uh. Money is <laughs> No computer knowledge you can. Uh, but at least you, you don't tell me you don't have a switch, switch on computer that one jala there. Switch on the handphone, not this thing can. Uh, huh? You must at least know how to download say Pell and uh, upload, uh, you know. Sing, sing <coughs> uh, no need, no need sing pass. No need, uh. Because the say Pell will never ask you for. You see, uh, any app uh, that asks you for your passport uh, is a centralized entity and can be blocked by the government. Okay? okay. Get the notice, okay? The real hardware wallet will never ever ask you for any identification information. Oh, that's true. That's true. Will never. And if you never say anything about this address is yours, nobody will ever know that's you. Wow. 
simple as that. <clears throat> so Wu Fang, I saw a message. It's good that you can just fill up. Okay, hold on. Huh? Yeah, now I see a lot of submission coming in. Huh? Good, good, good. We got a lot of automation to see. Okay, let me just... Seven PM, Chester. Seven PM. Is there a limit of people who can go inside? No, no limit. Start from basic. Start from basic, We we teach things that uh that easy to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 